Hey guys, real quick video. I uh, just wanted to <clears throat> address the situation that I was having with my Priv V8 not working. Um, in this video about the Rolo badge, I had mentioned about this had stopped working and I couldn't figure out the problem. Well, I figured it out and I just wanted to let you all know what happened. So, um, the problem was I had just put a new coil in it, um, and then the next day I went to vape on it and the lights were blinking. Um, it wouldn't fire. It would not work. I took the tank off and put it on my Vaporesso Swag mod and, um, it worked on there. But it still wasn't hitting right. Uh, I had no idea what the problem was. But it had like a plastic taste. It was just messed up. Um, so I ended up taking out the um, coil and putting a fresh coil in there. Like I said, that was a fresh coil, but it got messed up. So... That was basically a wasted coil. I put a fresh coil in here and let me just tell you right off the bat, I had the coil screwed in way too tight. Okay. Um, I ended up having to use pliers to remove the coil from the base way too tight. So that's what the problem was. And um, so I ended up, you know, messing the coil up completely and since this has like short circuit protection um that's why it wasn't hitting it it was preventing it from i guess you know it was preventing me from vaping it because obviously it wasn't right so uh i put the other coil in there and i didn't screw it on as tight but i mean it was snug and now it works fine so, I mean, I was just always used to, you know, I need to make sure this coil is in here uh, tight. You know, I, you know, everything needed to be tight so that nothing, you know, the juice wasn't leaking out. But, uh, word of advice. Yes, make sure your coils are screwed in snug, but not so tight that you need uh, pliers to remove it. So, that was my problem. I still think this is a really nice device. You know, the fault was not of this. It was my fault from, you know, screwing the coil in way too tight. So that was the problem. I fixed it. It's still working. I still stick with what I said, though, about future devices. I am steering away from smoke, smock, whatever. I'm steering away from that, this company, for a while. I'm going to try out some new things because really, you know, I've been having a lot of problems with stuff from this company. So, that's it. Word of advice. Don't screw your coils in too tight. Make sure they're snug, but not ridiculously tight. I got a fan on. But anyway, that's it. Uh, I am getting a new juice coming in the mail. Should be here early next week. And a new device. And it's not made by Smoke Tech. So, we'll see how that goes.